Good morning. Today, we depart Washington en route to the Far East. As I'm sure you know, it's a journey we're very excited about. We've looked forward to this trip for a long time. We'll travel first to Indonesia for talks with President Soeharto, and also meet with the foreign ministers of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. From Indonesia, we'll leave for Tokyo, and the 12th Annual Economic Summit, Summit of the Free Industrialized Nations of Asia, Europe, and North America. America's partnership with the nations of Asia grows stronger every year. In the days ahead, we will once again work together to reaffirm and renew our economic, strategic, and political ties. It'll also be good to reaffirm and renew our personal ties. As for the Tokyo summit, our agenda is full. There'll be long and rather detailed economic meetings, and we'll also discuss other areas of political and strategic concern. It'll be good to see the summit members and to renew our friendship. This summit comes at a, an interesting time. There's no denying that the winds of freedom are blowing east and west. They're brisk and bracing winds, sweeping out the old and, I believe, ushering in a new era of freedom, an era in which democracy is once again recognized as the new idea. So this is an exciting time, and I expect the Tokyo summit to reflect the dynamism of the day. Nancy, who I'll be joining in Los Angeles later today, is going into a very heavy schedule on this trip. In Thailand and Malaysia, she'll be working very hard on events and issues that are related to her work against drug abuse. So it looks like we'll both have a lot to report when we return. And for now, uh, sayonara. You see, I've been practicing. Thank you. God bless you all. All right. Bye. President, you have any concerns about uh, possible terrorist activities against either you or Mrs. Reagan? I'm superstitious. I just won't even mention that. 